everybody. This is Bob from Paw Productions. Uh, recently, we did some videos on using uh, a grain mill, which you can see right here. It's the Corona style we used in our previous video on uh, how to use your prep foods and uh, the review of this grinder and how it operated. And over here we have a Back to Basics. It's the other mill I had talked about that I had owned. And today I just want to give a pretty basic breakdown comparison of the two. Okay. First off is pretty much price. These models like I said in the previous video run anywhere from seven dollars to twenty dollars depending on where you're buying them. The back the basics anywhere from forty nine to eighty dollars. Alright there's a big difference also in how they're constructed. This is like a cast metal plated model. It's very simple, very robust, but heavy. The back to basics is pretty much milled, milled and machined aluminum and plastic. Um, we'll get to more of the internals in a minute. What I'm going to show you is basically how they break down and the parts involved. While these are cheap, they have a lot of parts. As you can see, I've already got some of it disassembled down here and just so I could do everything one-handed. But basically, you have the front of the mill. After you take off, it's got two screws to hold the front on. And they go in right here, go through. They're hold in by these little wing nuts. The front comes off. Next, you'll come back here. Unscrew this. I mentioned a little bit about this in the, the last video as well, but I didn't really touch too much on it. come off. And then the actual auger will come out. And this is the auger with the back of the grinding disc. And you can see the front of it there. And that's it. It's pretty simple. Only problem is with it, got a bunch of these little small nuts and bolts. Okay. Now on to the back to basics. Back to basics is also a lot smaller. It doesn't hold as much. It's got a uh, small extendable hopper up top that snaps in up top here. It's made of plastic. Um, it's got a clamp down here just like the other one does, as you can see. Simple, same thing. The back, oops, sorry about that. The retaining nut for the handle, just like the other one, same deal. Handle slides off. Now this is where it gets pretty, the back to basics excels in this area is that you got that, and then your auger. That's it. These are the only parts that will come off of it. Besides actually tearing down and tearing out the, you know, front decorative cover. And that's how it looks, stripped out. Nothing else in there. So, you have your auger, bushing, retaining screw nut for your handle compared to heavy, robust, and probably last till everybody on the face of the earth is already gone. But it's also got a couple extra parts. Like I said, this one in the last video, it works, but it doesn't get everything as fine. And as you can see, you can tell just by looking at the surfaces. You can see the deep grooves in this one compared to the really fine grooves of the Back to Basics. Let's see if you can, guys can see that. See it on the auger a little bit better. See the grooves are just don't know how good the camera's going, but they're so fine. So the back to basics will actually produce a more flower like product for you if that's what you're looking at. Like I said, it doesn't do the uh doesn't do it as fast, but this is a lot coarser. This is pretty good for doing your basic stuff. Like I showed you in the last videos. If you don't have one, get this one to start and then upgrade later on. But you find that out from using your stuff. So that's where all this little rundown comes into play. Being able to know what you got and how to take it apart. You won't know it unless you use it. And when you use it, you're going to have to clean it. And you're going to have to take it all apart to clean it. So 
Anyway, I'm Bob from Paw Productions. It's just like I said, a little short rundown and a comparison of the two mills that we talked about in the last the last couple videos on uh, using your prep food items. And uh, keep the comments and uh, questions coming in, peep guys. We really appreciate it and we like it. So uh, see you around.